Batsbury Station. Hello everyone and welcome to the North Dorset Trailway and welcome to roadie packing. So I'm 10 miles into a 70 mile route I planned a few months ago. In fact before I did John O'Groats to Land's End I was going to do it but I never did it I don't know why but um, yeah I'm finally doing it. <laughs> Basically I'm going to be coming along here North Dorset Trailway up to Bullbarra Hill and then kind of back down again um, kind of wet, um, so I'm heading northwest at the moment I'm 10 miles in I'm going to be hitting Bullbarra Hill which is a killer of a hill in a couple of miles looking forward to that yay not but the views are going to be fantastic up there so yeah look, looking forward to that that'll be good um, this is pretty cool though isn't it this is the old station but there used to be a little fireplace over there <laughs> anyway Anyway, so yeah, from uh, Bullbarrow Hill, we're going to be heading kind of southish to Milton Abbey. Uh, and then kind of more off-roady, heading down towards the coast. Where am I going? Uh, in fact, where I went to Kimbridge last time, I'm going to be kind of going up the hill that I mentioned in the Purbeck Ridge one. So I'm going to be going over the ridge, Corf Castle, down to that infinity thing which I've never done before I'm lo looking forward to that down to Swanage old Harry rocks and then back over the ferry and all that m malarkey 70 miles of happiness I'm hoping if I get that far <laughs> we'll see we'll see so yeah that's the plan 70 miles is is the plan um, I'm gonna camp out somewhere somewhere I don't know where yet and I've got, actually, uh, I've not got burgers or anything today, something a bit different. I'm going to hopefully cook my first ever ham and cheese toasty out in the woods or something somewhere. Not too bad at all, does it? Oh yeah, there you go. That doesn't look hot. Oh, days. It's all in there somewhere. It's all in there somewhere. Um, got a couple of cheeky beers as well. Bit of a crosswind. It's uh, the winds whacking me on my left. I'm heading northwest, which means that when I start heading south after Bullbarrow Hill, it's going to be right in my face. friends well that guy just in front he's wearing a king of the mountain stuff and he just rode past me like I was standing still Stop here and enjoy this view. Oh. Luckily, I'm in no particular rush, so because it's only I don't know what's the time. It's ju it's just clicking over to five o'clock, and I'm, I'm on 16 miles. Fantastic, 
So I've still got what three, four hours of daylight left. Brilliant. Just a very small descent for the madness going up. All by hell. You're coming through on the camera, mate. You an alpaca? That's hot. The sun is beaming. This hill is streaming. It's pretty cool. A berry, we'll see. Not quite there yet. Give it a couple of weeks, I reckon. Ooh, or even less. Mmm. Still quite nice, though. Not bad. It's pretty flat now. Fantastic. I'll put up on the screen now how high I am, but I don't know, I can't remember what it was, the, the elevation. It might tell me on this thing, but yeah, sod it. I'm just enjoying that. Oh, there's a big bull. Uh, LA bull. Or cow. I don't think you know. Any dignity it had. <laughs> uh, it's quite fun. Well, I'm here, kind of at the top. This is wonderful. All these lovely horses. Hello. I'm on this bridal way. Should be able to get through down to Milton Milton Abbey. God, oh, look at these. They look lovely. <laughs> right, off we go. So that's the worst of the hills done for today now. And the rest is just... Now that's like the weekend of badness burnt off which is definitely the way forward. I'm feeling fitter already. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful place. Huh. Sad and kind of happy all at the same time. This is lovely. Well, it says there, rest a while and think of friends and absent friends. and So I'm going to sit here for a bit, guys. And this is perfect, just out of the wind. They've picked a lovely spot. And their son must have ridden his motorbike along here. Wow. Coffee time.
there we go. Look, 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 look. This isn't too bad actually. We're in the shade now, so it's pretty good. I don't know how many bloody way things I'm getting on me. Oh, look, that looks good. There's a gate there. That must mean we're coming into some civilization. It's a less rutted track. Yay! There's my thing, there it is. Yeah, if there's. Yeah, look, there's cow pats. Oh, is that a cow pat? It's quite big. Is she closed? Yeah, she's closed. Hmm. Yeah. Don't really want to camp where there's loads of cows. Yeah, that's quite fresh on the ground. <laughs> oh, you know, I was saying that it was the rutted tracks we're going to be finishing. Well, this is actually more bumpy than the field. I'm still in that spot, it's just gone 7 o'clock and um, just come down, you know, uh, from that um, memorial up there uh, you know, the rutted tracky thing through the field, through that gate which said that this area had um, nature in it and yes, there's a cow out there but I haven't seen anything, I've been here probably 10 minutes it's had that, you know, the coffee and the cereal bar thing. I haven't seen anybody. I don't know. It's gone seven o'clock. It's going dark about nine. <sighs> this is a nice spot and if I move on from here I've got to go through Milton Abbey, got to go through Bovington and that lot. You know, before I get to all the cool bit down south. And even then it's quite windy out there. I'm not guaranteed a good, you know, it will probably be quite windy up on the hill. Gonna see how it goes for the next half an hour or so. Signal here is bad actually, but you know, I'll just have to hold the phone up and it comes. Um, yeah, if, if I don't see any animals or anything, in about half an hour or so, I might just set up my bivvy here. I reckon I'll stay in here. I mean, just there. That's nice and flat. And also, yeah, it's nice and flat. Remember? Remember that video? The flat video? <clears throat> what was it again? flat ground, lights, I can't see any lights, well, I won't be able to, but I don't think there's anyone around, as in there's no houses, Milton Abbey's over that way, it's probably about half a mile or so that way, so I'd probably see some walkers I would have thought, but the trail, I've come off about 20 metres or so off the actual trail, the trail's over there, um, but yeah, I haven't seen anyone else, there was a lady walking that way through the field that I was in, that was a while ago, but I don't know if she was going back home that way. I haven't heard anyone coming back through this way. There's, there's been no dogs coming to investigate or anything. We shall see. We shall see. This is that time isn't it, where it's like, whoa. Could move on. Maybe get a spot down south or guaranteed flat ground. Gas and stove in there. And what we got? Uh, bread wrapped up in the thing. Stay there. Don't want to get it covered in crap. And yeah, frying pan. And let's see, we got some ham and cheese all in the same bag, and a bit of butter in there as well. Cool. Ham and cheese toasty coming up. Red. <clears throat> I'm doing this one handed, not good. I should really get a stand, shouldn't I? Bit of ham. I normally chop this up, but I uh, already can't be bothered. I might do a bit of a hang on, just sit you between my knees. There we go. Shred it a little bit. God, I'm glad I use that tea cloth now. 
yeah my plan is get a bit of cheese plan is and then uh, I've got some butter stick that in the pan and then hopefully it will fry up nice fingers across that'll do it I reckon stick that there Trusty sport, use half of this for now. Might need the other half in a minute. Oh, use that. Good. Fingers crossed. This works out for the best. Right. Down there, get that on. Butter melting down. Shut up to stable as what she was a second ago. Something that gets in it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? <clears throat> oh, there she goes, sizzling away. Sizzly. This is bloody lush, isn't it? Once I get my bibby and stuff set up, I'll be able to sit down nice and comfy. There is that nice little tree over there to sit down on, which is uh, quite comfy because it's got that moss on it. It's like a little cushion. I mean, blinking now, this is lovely. What a cool trip so far. I found some bits and bobs that I've never seen before, which is nice. It's always good to, you know, when you kind of, I mean, I was, I'm within, I think I'm on, I haven't even looked at how many miles that I've done yet. Because um, I've been looking at the GP, you know, looking at the map rather than looking at the mileage. It's got to be over 20 miles. I might have a look in a minute, but yeah, I might, um, I might have a check. Still haven't seen any animals. Um, no cows or anything. Haven't heard anything. It's just my luck that the farm will, start, will let the cows in at about eight o'clock or so, won't they? <laughs> Difficult. Anyway, I'll have to turn this over. I think it sounds. Does it sound? Oh, some it sounds crispy. How the hell am I going to turn that over? I might try and film it just for a laugh. Right here we go. I might try and use this thing get that spork under it or oh, if it's crispy underneath it might be all right oh, I might just put it down for a sec oh that doesn't look too bad actually a bit more butter in it doesn't look too bad at all does it oh yeah there you go that doesn't look hot. oh see days <laughs> trying to hold you between my knees is very difficult get some more butter in there Fantastic. Yeah, see what we go through so that you guys can experience this without having to leave the comfort of your home. Right, there you go. Leave that on for a bit. That looked like the right heat. See, it's just on a little low heat. That's all right. There's not that much wind. You see, look, there's no bloody wind in there. Out there, you can hear the trees. It's, it was at one point it felt like about 20-25 mile an hour winds at one point 
Get a bit of a swoosh round. Yeah. Get that butter all over the bottom of that. Oh yeah. This is going to be good. Yeah, but in, when I'm in there, see, like, you can see the trees going over there. Over there. But it just kind of shelters you from the wind. This is, yeah, I think this is the spot. As long as no bloody cows come along and tread on me or anything, I'll be alright. Right. Sounds crispy. Let's turn it over. Oops, let's get you down there again. Oh, that doesn't look too bad at all. A bit of butter. Firmly fantastic. Now is this spork going to be able to cut? I don't want to have to get my pen knife out. Oh, that's all right. Obviously trying not to scratch the pan, the really expensive pan. Well, I'm going to leave that for a minute actually, because that's, uh, that's steaming. Well, she's not too bad, is she? That's all right. Get the steam. The steam shot. Fantastic. Right. As Steve Wallace would say. Step two. Green King Abbott. Cheers guys. This is going to be a lively one I think. Because it's been up and down the bloody lit. Yay there it is. Lovely. Mmm. Yum yum. Even the froth is good. Cheers all. Lovely. Mmm, haven't had that in ages. Yeah, Green King Abbott, rich and multi premium ale. 5%, that's not too bad. Right, I don't know what time it is. I'm going to find my phone in a minute. But judging by that sun, it's got to be quarter to eight ish. Look at that. Yeah, it's starting to go. Down. So, as long as nobody's coming up here after nine, it is a Tuesday night after all. I mean, it's like school holidays, you would have thought kids and stuff would be. Then again, if I was a kid, I'd probably be sat at home playing, a, playing an Xbox or something like that. So, yeah, it's good for us wild campers. Try. Well, hmm, not good. Mm. That is my first ham and cheese toasty in the woods. And look, see the pan, it's basically clean. It's not a bad touch. I suppose the only thing is trying to keep that ham and the cheese. In the summer, I try and keep like ham and cheese um, fresh, I suppose. But by tomorrow morning, that might be a bit off. Just gonna kind of head out a bit and see how far. Yeah, you know, there I am. See how kind of obvious I am. Well, there's the path. There's the sunset. Lovely. Yeah, I've got about an hour. Definitely staying here now. And that's over there. Not seen me yet. So we'd have to come right in here off the path. 
yeah I'll just put the um, put the, uh, the bivy bag bag on the floor just to see I mean the bivy bag is going to be green isn't it? no I definitely couldn't see that could you but this will be alright unless anyone's actually coming in here yeah, if they're just walking up that path, should be good. Rock and roll. Still no animals, other than I've heard loads of birds and stuff. It's really cool. It's a nice spot for isn't it? Look. He's gone. This is way gone. Yeah, I think I've done the right thing. If I'd have gone down south and gone co closer to the coast, I could have made it, I could have definitely made it. But it's really windy. And I did that, I did the gravel dash in February. And that was, I was on the top of a hill down that way and it was just wind constant and I thought, oh, actually, I think, yeah, I did the right thing coming here. I think if it's, yeah, if it's a coastal one again, Gotta make sure that that wind's low. Because <coughs> the memories of the gravel dash were present in making my decision. Right, this is cracking. It's coming up 8 o'clock, I think. Don't know. Oh, there's my phone over there. Yeah, I'm kind of spreading myself out. This is lovely, this is flat as a pancake. So if I'm not comfy there, I think I might move over there. There's various. Uh, things. So I just saw some movement in the bloody shadows there. I thought it's somebody but it's not. It's just the trees moving. Oh no, listen. Someone tapping away. Huh? This is mad. I've not seen a single soul since I've been here. And that, that woman that I did see going up there, well she hasn't come back this way so I'm assuming she was going back home. This is Brilliant. I forgot to bring my Spanish book. I'm trying to learn Spanish at the moment. I forgot to bring my lovely Spanish book, didn't I? No problema. Mi recuerdos un poco español. Yeah, that's probably wrong. Huh. Just come out for a little wonder. Yeah, this is oh, I've got some berries in there. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, you got this little field over here. I'm not going to drag my bike through here because I'm quite happy where I am, I think. But check this out. Ooh. This is. You can't see where I am. But I'm kind of yeah. I'm kind of through there. Just the other side of that little clump there. I could bring my bike in here, but I think I'm right where I am. Oh, there's a little bird box there. That's long been left. <laughs> here we are, just coming back through the foliage. And there's the steed. You can see there's been I think horses have come through here, but then how have they got through under this tree? Looks like horse tracks, you know what I mean? Like horseshoes. Maybe they're coming around that way, I don't know. But yeah, this is obviously used. That field over there. <coughs> That's obviously a, you know, this is obviously a through for the animals. Maybe it is cows or something. But let's just hope. Doesn't seem to be anything in there at the moment. Maybe I'm going to get lucky. It'll just be my luck. The farmer's going to be up at 4 a.m. Let the cows in, aren't they? That's all right. It'll be light like that anyway. Yeah, I'm going to start setting up, guys. over that cow patch just in case to stop me walking on it.
30 second pump up. I think. you don't get any um, um, moisture from your breath inside the uh, inside the uh, mattress. That's a Trekology, I keep forgetting what it is, it's a tr Trekology UL50. UL50. This thing, I've had it down to minus three and it's been great. Yeah. Um, this is my summer bivvy. It's a bit thinner. If you look at any of my John O'Grates, the Land's End, or any of my um, um, Wild Camps, I'm normally using my Winter Bivy. Yeah, yeah. Mountain Warehouse, Traveller 50. Again, this with the sleeper. I was down to minus three. I do wear my you know, cycling clothes and stuff, um, and um, cycling tights and things. But other than that, I'm good. Just stay nice and tasty. Right, right. <coughs> yeah, so anything with this mountain warehouse. The zip, because it's got a hood, the zip can only be used on one side, that's the left side. And both my bivvies, it does zip down, which is good. But both on the right side. So when you unzip, you unzip, unzip. But it's I do feel pitter patters in my other bivy it's a bit more substantial than th this one it goes all the way over and then you can actually you know like the rain goes off and it drips off this one's not gonna protect me but there's like it says like about 10% chance or 10% I found out recently it's, it's the area isn't it 10% of the area is it's going to get rain so if we get a little drop I should be alright I don't mind getting a few you know drips on me um, but no my other one covers you up but at the top I'll probably just uh, probably just do my usual what's my usual plough point yeah I always go for a plough point it's just so easy oh, I better put those away <coughs> in case the wind blows them away we're all set ready to go now, guys. Oh yeah, I've got another beer in there, that's nice. Oh, actually, that's a little bit colder than the other one. It's weird, isn't it? When you're cycling along, I try to weigh it out a bit and have one beer on this side and one beer on that side. You know, just to balance out the way. It's a dodgy burnt banana. Um, but obviously, the sun was more on that side, so it's that beer is actually not quite as... Not quite as cool. In fact, where is that beer? There you are. Oh, still got half of it left. Right. Well, this is one of those. It's a nature reserve. Then this, that track led through to that field. I'm assuming there's other bits and bobs. Hmm. 
again I waffle on it'd be good to see some deer in here that would be nice um, or even like the small you know some get some bloody rabbits and stuff you know scurrying along it would be nice to wake up in the morning to have like a deer just stood over there or something oh god that would be lovely anyway sun's starting to go down there you can see it just going down over the hill it's probably not from a flat ground or you know over the other side of the hill it would probably be nice and sunny until bloody 10 o'clock probably but yeah you can see it just flickering so anyway I did look at my um, GPS I looked at my GPS and I'm 23 miles in 22, 23, 22 points so uh, there was a 70 mile oh there I am Yeah, I can't see me I've not got a screen um, it's a 70 mile route yeah and the rest of it was going to take me down yeah see that like, I'm already speaking in the past tense aren't I um, the rest of it was going to take me down like um, down to um, the ridge and Corfe Castle and that lot I might still do it tomorrow still yeah think about it it's 47 miles yeah depends what time I get up really because I can kind of scoot off I'm going to be heading back down where I took you earlier back down that pathway uh, down, back down the hill I'm about 200 metres up I think back down the hill Milton Abbas and basically follow the road back um, Winterbourne, Kingston, Bear Regis and that way so that will get, get me home within about 20 miles I suppose basically the same way parallel-ish to what I came but we'll see see how I feel tomorrow if I if I can be if I can be bothered, I'll do the coastal bit and get some cool views down there. But I might just save that for another day. There's no, you know, I didn't have to do 70 miles. It's weird. I think yeah. So on the way back, I might just spot some more camp spots as well. So for like next time, if I did want to do the full 70. I'll, you know, I have a better idea because yeah I was just a little bit worried wasn't I about if I carried on would I find as good a camp spot as this I mean this is lovely the birds are going to start tweeting pretty soon it's that, it's that magic like half hour 45 minutes where the birds just go mad they'll start going I might get I might get you back I might bring you back when the birds are tweeting I'm right in the sticks there. The signal's like intermittent. God. Still on my first beer. Just about to finish it. There was more in that mouthful than what I thought. It's <coughs> nice there. <laughs> oh yeah, I've reached the uh, I've reached 95 subscribers, I think, as of yesterday or something. Well, that's what you chuffed. So yeah. Thank you so much for subscribing and um, obviously if you haven't subscribed then think about subscribing if you like this sort of thing. I mean I like this sort of thing and you're watching this so maybe you do. Maybe, maybe you should get out there. Hopefully this will inspire you to. Well guys that's me I think. The sun's gone down. I've just finished my last beer. It's coming up 10 o'clock. It's, uh, there's still a bit of blue in the sky through the trees, but it's. I've just had a little walk on the um, on the trail just to just to see what's about, and there's nothing around. I can't hear any mooing, you know, any cows or anything. So I think I'm safe. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to call it a night. I think it's getting kind of light at about four, half four, so ten o'clock. Yeah, if I do sleep through. That'll be lovely. Well, there's been no birds or anything. There's been a couple of bloody pigeons, but other than that, 
It's a bit strange, this, you know, for, for, for a nature reserve, you would have thought it'd be really teeming with, you know, birds and things. But no, it's a, it's a lovely night nonetheless. There's a little breeze coming through now. I think I'm going to start off by sleeping on top of the bivvy. It's so, it's so mild. And that cool breeze is lovely. Very nice. See, this is why we do it, this is lovely. Peace and quiet, there's no road noise. Every now and again you hear a little something naturey. You get the panniers on your bike, and it kind of, I don't know, takes you into a different realm, a different world. It's lovely. Right, unless anything mad happens in the night, I will see you guys in the morning. Buenas noches. Well, morning or it's coming up five o'clock now. There's a bit of um, blue sky coming through the clouds. But you might just be able to hear that tapping away in the trees. Blinking rain, isn't it? I'm just going to wait this out a bit and then wait for this uh, sun to rise. Oh, there I am. Well, believe it or not, it's actually 6 am. It's, actually, it's quite light, but the camera doesn't pick it up. You can see through the trees there. It's still raining. It's only pitter pattering, but I don't want to leave the shelter of the trees quite yet. Yeah, well there I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm just laying in my baby. Just waiting out this bloody rain. It says it's going to get worse about 9am. And um, so, but then it should ease off in a minute. So I think that window, I might shoot off. <laughs> it's a lovely morning though. It's very mild still. You can hear the rain, but it's not really coming through the trees. It's really cool, actually. The smells are lovely because of the the rains, obviously, making the forest. Yeah, really nice. The occasional spot of rain hit, hits my face. <laughs> it's actually all right. Because I know that I'm going to be home pretty soon, so you know, even if I do get wet, it's all right. I need to go back on the tour again pretty soon, <coughs> where you don't have the option of going home. You know, you kind of got to keep on going. I like those. It's good. Anyway. So I'm still here. It's half seven. It's still raining. I've checked the weather forecast and it's now due to rain all blinking day. So I thought, right, get the coffee on. <laughs> Have a banana. Get myself ready to rock and roll. There we go, you know what they say, leave no trace. There's a nice little dry spot there where my boobies been. There you go. All packed away. The beer cans are in that pannier there. Ready to f find a bin. Well, I think that you can see me. I'm on the camera in front of my phone. Because my um, active on Go Go GoPro copy thing is dead. Anyway, it's been a fantastic night. Even though it has bloody rained. Um, this wasn't forecast. It was supposed to be like 10% I think it was saying and now it's obviously coming but yeah just a ride home in the rain luckily I brought my rain rain jacket just in case it's been good I might take some pics on the way if not we'll leave it there we'll see adios guys see you next time please like and subscribe and all that malarkey good to have you here bye for now
Yay! That must be Milton Abbey. Oh, beautiful. Down to a fine, it's down to a fine drizzle now, but because it's so mild, it's actually all right to cycle it. This is good. Cruise for Christmas dinner. It's a funny looking thing. Looks like it's been um You know, mined, mined, quarried, that's the word I'm looking for. I don't know, what could have just been like a landfill? Land, landslide. Can't think of my words this morning, can I? Wood drive. Quite nice. Yay, lots of tree roots. <laughs> Well that was good wasn't it, see you next time.